Hi. So in this recording, we will do trend analysis for Colgate Company. We are given with this data, and by the end of this recording, what you will be able to see is, uh, let's say, for the loan funds. So we have only taken loan in two thousand ten to two thousand eleven. Then the dividend year wise. Likewise, we can see initially the capital employed increased. Then in the year twenty twenty one, it has decreased. Then again it has increased. So this is what we call trend analysis. We will be utilizing VLOOKUP function as well as offset function. This is similar to what we have done in share price chart, where we have drawn the graph for. share price of multiple companies so let's begin and let's see how to do that first thing first so simply i will be copy pasting this from sales to number of shareholders control c then what i can do is i can simply paste it then i will be giving them unique ids 1 2 why unique ids uh will show you in a why now i will be using first of all let me create a list why list so that i can choose what particular value do i need to see first of all merge and center to make it look more aesthetic then i will be going to data under data you have to find data validation like this then go to list what is the source source is this Mm, okay, so now I can select this or that. Okay, now I will be using V lookup is equal to V lookup. So what is the lookup value? Whatever I am selecting here through this list. Uh, what is the table array? Table array is this, which we have created. Now, comma. What is the column index number? Do I want this or this? I want this number to appear, so that I can utilize it in my offset function, right? So press two. This second column. I want an exact match. Hence, I will be using false. Hit enter. Now I will be getting number eleven. Mm hmm. So I can see the number are changing. This is a good thing. now i want trend analysis which means on my x axis i want years to appear and on the uh, on the vertical axis i mean on the y axis i want the values to appear so first of all i will be copy pasting this years because i have to ultimately make the graph control c and simply i will be copy pasting it control v and if you count this are 12 number of years are 12 is equal to maybe i can so that it can look more aesthetic aesthetic as, as in whatever i'm selecting from this list that will appear here also so that it looks more convenient what i am trying to see is equal to a uh, one mistake which often made by students is you simply select one cell no since we are using offset function which means we are playing with a array so first of all select the whole range where you want to get your output is equal to offset what is the reference references you are fixing one point uh in my case i am fixing this operating results right now it is asking rows offset is for jump how many rows do i want to jump now if you look closely if i select say sales then it will give me output 1 right if i select other operating revenue and other income it will select uh, it will give me 2 so accordingly if i giving this as a reference if if that output is 1 then it will jump one row below if it is 2 then it will jump two rows below so instead of writing 1 2 i am selecting this whatever i am selecting here that will 
appear here and accordingly this will jump how many columns since this is column number one so this height is one only uh, if you see this is one cell only what is the width width is 12 you can count the years now control shift enter remember that control shift enter don't press control enter here you go now what I was saying is if you see reserve and surplus accordingly it is 11 and accordingly the values are getting changed now the final step you can go to insert and maybe you can select 2d column chart you can select the chart whatever you want to that's up to you now you can go to select data I am first of all removing it I am adding it in the series value Mm, ta -ta -ta. maybe this okay and on the horizontal axis I want my ears to appear okay hit okay and your beautiful graph is here now you can always go to chart design you can add elements above the chart maybe you can write trend analysis or whatever trend analysis and if you see you can change this accordingly the graph will change see so that's it for the video I hope you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up uh, and if you have any question you can comment below I will try to answer it